Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Flows, and we're here with phase four of free artist development. We're going to talk about PROs. What's a PRO? A PRO is a performance rights organization. Performance rights organizations are companies such as BMI, CSAC, and ASCAP. And for all you Canadians out there, SOCON. What these performance rights organizations do is exactly what they say performance rights. <clears throat> what does that mean, Flows? I mean, everything we do is a performance. Performance rights. More so into the live performances. You need one of these to further your business in the music industry. Uh, for most of these, mostly they're affordable or free. I like to use BMI. BMI is very popular among content creators. You can become a creator or for businesses, you can obtain a business license. Creators are those who write, compose, and publish music. And businesses are like clubs and sneaker stores and stuff like that. Yes, they pay for music too. Nobody's just playing free music. Even when they put the radio on in the, in the clothing store, they're still paying for music but it's paid through public tax payments, shit like that. Getting on with this. So I like to use BMI because for the most part, BMI is free. ASCAP is $50 to join as a creator. Um, CSAC is, you have to be voted in. Uh, it's more so for the international artist non-american artists now like i said csac is more for the uh csac is fifty dollars just for an artist um for publishing for those who are interested in becoming publishers not artists artists you have no idea how complicated and how complex it is to be a rapper and a publisher at the same time they're two different ends of the spectrum you can't have a coin on heads and tails at the same time you get what i'm saying we'll break this down in phase five when we talk distribution but uh just to get you started we're not going to talk anything about publishing right now so we'll bypass that we'll reference this in phase five phase four and phase five are going to run together because performance rights have a lot to do with distribution None of this is done in a specific order. Um, this is just the order that I feel is most effective for those who plan on doing something with their music. So, <clears throat> for BMI, all you have to do is create, become a creator. It's absolutely free. I'm already a member, so let me sign in and just show you what it looks like, give you the grand tour. It's very simple, it's very easy. As soon as you get into BMI, first thing you're gonna wanna do is check out these this column on the left. You're gonna wanna register all your songs and you're gonna wanna check your works catalogs. This is my works catalog. This is things, like I, like I said, again, these are things that you cannot steal. They are registered to me. These are identified within the company of BMI. So if I had to call them up and I wanted to say, hey, I just sold my song, The One, or a uh, liquor store, they'll verify my works catalog number by this number. They'll send me some information, documents that I'll have to sign, and then the transfer ownership goes to the next person. But this ain't that. This is just what your work looks like when it's registered. See, this is my works catalog. I still need to add more to it. Some of these you don't even see on the EP, uh, like this one, Therapy. You won't see this on uh, the iRap EP. This one is still waiting to be published by Misha P. And now here is her publishing company, IDTMG Publishing, is the Truth Music Group Publishing. So, as a publisher, she'll collect these shares. But as artists, we will collect 
these shares. Now, you guys are already familiar with the shares. I believe I broke that down for you in phase three. So you see what I'm saying about how the remainder artists get the remaining hundred. But you guys are focused on this right here. We'll talk about that in phase five. This has nothing to do with you right now. I need your eyes up here. I need you to pay attention to this. The BMI work number, the work title, the day it was registered, the works registration, and the ISWC. ISWC is another uh, type of... Um, identification number used within the inner network of the music business. See, you have to understand the music business. You have to understand the business of music to be in the music business because this business is all about documentation. You are paid for your ideas. That is called the intellectual property. No one can take your ideas and you are owed everything for your ideas. Got it? Great. Good. So let's move on. Now, when you're ready to register work, you're going to click works registration and you're going to go through the process. You're going to add a new song and it's self-explanatory. You're not ever going to click classical. Classical is right here. An original works written for a live concert performance under a chamber music of orchestral license. What does that mean, Flows? I mean, I'm classical. I got some violins. I take bass guitar. I got some trombones and some horns like the Migos. No, that's not classical. Classicals like your Beethoven, like your uh, Leonardo's, like your um, your orchestras and your symphonies and your operas and stuff like that. You know, that. Is called classical work. That music, that genre of music was, a, was around a lot longer and actually is what created the lane for PROs like this and for artists like you, rock, hip hop, pop, rap, whatever. Classical music, hip hop culture created music, but classical music became a business first. So all of this documentation came because they wanted ownership. They wanted to say it was their idea and they are going to collect all the money for their ideas. Why? Because they're the first ones that claim ownership. And you know who I mean by they. So all other genres, do you see how it is portrayed? This is the business of music, not the get yourselves out of the music business and get into the business of music. Know what you're doing, know what you're saying and know what you're asking about at all times. Please, I can't stress this enough. So all other genres are any genre other than classical. This includes rock, pop, country, jazz, etc. Get it? So if it's not an orchestra with the stage director and his little chopsticks and his little Beethoven suit, the penguin suit, it's not classical. DJ Premier is classical. Not because he plays classical music on turntables, but he can actually orchestrate an orchestra. He's done, you know, his career is based off that. Just being musically inclined. Check him out, DJ Premier on YouTube. So you'll go through these processes. Work info, others works, other works, publishers, writers, artists, recording summary. I'm really not going to complete this. I'm just going to go as far as I can because once you submit a work registration, it is nearly impossible to get taken down. You have to contact your PRO's office. You have to give an exemplary reason why it needs to be taken down or revised because it's very simple. Somebody is paying for this, not you, 
you think you're paying for this because you spent this much, that much, but this is a company, BMI is a company that solely seeks royalties, meaning they sit there day in, day out, counting numbers, how many times your song is played, and not just you, but you and every other person around you that you know does music, whether they're in your circle or out your circle, it does not matter. Their focus is bigger than you. So you need to be on a level that they can notice you, okay? That's what this is about. It's about bringing out your legitimacy in the business. Doesn't matter how dope you are, don't matter how trash you are, don't matter the quality of your work, you can have the poorest quality music and still get paid. Because your legitimacy in the business is more important than anything. Act like your life depends on this, because it does. Especially if music is your career. This is how you make your bones, okay? Ain't no record label gonna come and just offer you a bunch of money and just say, all right, make us rich. They're already rich. Why do you think they're giving you the loan in the first place? Underlining word, the loan. You didn't get a signing bonus and a signing bonus is only a loan that you have to pay back anyways. Elsewise, it wouldn't be a bonus. <clears throat> it would be a grant. <laughs> but yo, I'm iFlows. And like I always told you, nigga, my motherfucking word is gold. <laughs> nah, a promise from flows is worth more than gold. Think about me. I'm ending all of this egotistical, um, stronger, dominant, you know, faster, more progressive than any artist, because I wouldn't be nothing without you, really. And that's why the motto for iFlows ENT is what it is. I cannot be if you do not succeed. I cannot be if you do not succeed. Why is that, Flows? Why can't you be if we don't succeed? Because for many years, I've sat on this information and I've always tried to do like the mat, like the, 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 the grand mass of you. I tried to get a small circle together. Like, this is my clique. This is my people's every time. You know, it's the same shit everywhere you go. People doing the same thing, different states, different cities, different ways, but it's always the same result. Everybody wants the same thing at the exact same time and don't know how to get it. Person like me comes around. It doesn't look like I have much to offer, but my knowledge should be more than enough. But we're not in a time anymore where your word can be taken as value. And even though anyone that knows me personally will tell you to your face, I'm not known to lie. This is, this is what it is. But I've changed my ways. I've changed how I was in the past. And this is why I come with this because I feel like I can't be the only winner. You know, I got to share this with somebody. I, I, I got to help somebody because it was very few people that helped me. Like this information that I got first started, my first peer into this information started in phase four. I paid $250 for a, a, a information package. And that's all, and that's in all fairness because you're paying a service fee. Like if you go to McDonald's, you're not paying for the meal, you're paying for the cook to make the meal. You get what I'm saying? A service fee. So I paid like 250 for the service fee and I first learned about PROs, performance rights organizations. And then from there, my thirst for knowledge just went through the roof and it made me 
an even grander artist. It made me more than just an artist. It made me, it took away the passion of being an artist and made me want to break an artist because a, the A&R doesn't exist anymore at record labels because record labels are closing down. Record labels can't afford to keep you because you can surpass the record label. If a record label, you get, record label gave you $2 million and told you you had to make them $18 million and you turned around and made $30 million, they can't afford to keep you. Of course, they don't want to let you go, but they can't afford to keep you. So they're going to keep trying to force money on you as more loans, you know, more bonuses. Let's, let's, let's keep the technical word so you know what to listen for. They'll want to give you more bonuses and more advances. Like, you know, your cash advance. Like, you know, you go places, check cash place, you get a cash advance. That's money you got to pay back plus interest. It's the, there's no business different than any other business. So a cash advance is no different than a record label, if you get what I'm saying. All right, let's move on past that. So <clears throat> being the independent source that you are, you're going to do this right here. You're going to register your works. You're going to register it all as other genre. And here you will get, this is your identification number that we talked about in phase three when we talked about split sheets. This is my BMI number. So if you guys want to fucking do a feature, you already got my information. Send me a fucking split sheet. Email me the song at iflowsent at gmail.com. And let's get it cracking. My hair. I'm not used to having hair, y'all, so forgive me. So once you click next, you'll put in works titles. This is the name of the song. You'll put in the actual duration of the song. Please do not guess. Please do not fucking guess. All you have to do is open up Windows Media Player, VLC, or iTunes. Find a song. This is a song by me and Misha P called Dream Chasers. Let's be our quick sample. Dream Chaser. Dream Chaser. A rough rider. So provide I wanna be a dream chaser. A rough rider, a death jammer. So provide I wanna be a dream chaser. A rough rider, a B-E-E-N-T. So provide I wanna be a dream chaser. Chasing this paper, hater, I see you later. Work right, number one to my destiny, moving. I'm gonna let y'all hear my. Can't let, can't play me to but I'm gonna let y'all hear me. Smell that? And shit burning up in Hell's Kitchen. Flows must be up in there cooking with your mix. A hot track. Are you hungry enough just to listen? This a burn blisters when your girlfriend like a kitchen. Now open up your aperture. I'm trying to show a picture. Master of my fate, and I'm very dismissive. Cause we don't share the same common goals. My dreams are so much bigger than what you see in full. Life's a puzzle. I put the pieces where they go. A master of ceremonies, but my friends call me flows. I stand silent. That means I stand on ten toes. And if Meek ever heard this, he would all said I wanna be a dream chaser. A rough rider. I know them is soldier. So provide I wanna be a dream chaser. All right, that's enough of that. So y'all got a sample of that. That's Dream Chasers, right? Now, what we are looking at is how long the song actually is. And if you go on iTunes, you can see right there. This is the duration played. This is the total amount of the song. Same thing in VLC. Same thing in Windows Media Player. Please do not guess this. This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is something serious. This is your money. And if you get caught cheating, you'll get penalized and kicked out of your PRO. So take this serious. Cause there ain't no going back. If you get bar, if you get dismembered from a PRO, you're damn near dismembered from all of them unless you can collect all the thousands of licenses there is to become a PRO yourself. Don't blackball yourself. Don't set yourself up for failure. That's what this is about. Free game, free artist development, baby. So the duration of Dream Chasers is 327. So let's say I wanted to register this. Dream Chasers, it's three minutes, 27 seconds. And music and lyrics is how we're registering it because we got a copyright for my, for the song is me featuring Misha P and I wrote my lyrics. She wrote her own lyrics, but I wrote the hook. The, uh, I got the beat, I wrote the hook and I wrote the song. So there's my 
75%, she gets 25. Language is in English. You can do it in all other languages. You can do alternate titles, as many alternate titles. I could say dreamers. I could say chasers, blah, 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 blah. So, dreamers, chasers. Does not matter how many titles I put on this song, okay? Does not matter. I'm not going to add this because then it, well, I think I, I, think I can cancel it, so... Boom. Right here is going to ask you, has a song ever been out? Or does it have any lyric? I mean, it, has it ever been on TV? Or does it have any translation? Does it have any song? Does it have any samples in it? This one, no. Then they want to know who's the publisher. Are, are there any publishers on this work? You need to understand this. You, the individual watching this, are not a publisher. You are not a publisher. No, you are not. You're saying yes, you are because you have DistroKid, CD Baby, Amuse, TuneCore, whatever you use, Ditto, whatever, uh, AWOL. You are not a publisher and neither are they. They can collect some publishing for you, but they are not publishers. A publisher is one that solely seeks revenue of continuum counting of content. So if you're a publisher, you spend your whole day and night doing nothing else but seeking revenue for songs that you do not record. So for this, Dream Chasers is going to be under Misha P's publishing. So that's going to be IDTMG publishing. I'm going to select yes. That means she collects those funds for wherever that song goes. And she's also responsible to promote it and sell it because she's the publisher. She has to earn her keep. She's not just going to put her name on something and not do nothing with it because it would be worthless. Each entity of the content needs to put in equal amount of the work to succeed. I cannot be if you do not succeed should be the model of you and not just I flows E and T. Build a team around you that wants you to win, not looking for themselves to win. Build your my guys geek my ass all the time because I do videos and I probably don't do enough, but. They are always on my fucking ass. And that's what matters because they tell me that I'm the fucking best. And I tell them, no, you're the fucking best. You bring that shit out of me. And they say, no, you bring that shit out of me. And then we sit here and go back and forth all day long about who, who brought who out of what. But at the end of the day, we got the greatest content we could possibly come with because we're not thinking, oh, let me just use you so I can hurry up and get what I need. It don't matter if you ain't fucking with me. It don't matter if you do this and you do your own little snake shit and you do, you know, you go over here with this song and this video and you act like this when you see me or you talk like this when you don't see me. Fuck all that. Niggas, people going to talk all the time. Everybody got something to say. Uh, mouth is like an asshole. Everybody got shit. Everybody got some shit with them. Period. So fuck all that. So for me, I would select, yes, I have a publisher, blah, blah, blah. Please, for right now, unless you have a for sure publisher, and we're not in phase five yet, where you learn about distribution, Distribution and publishing are considered the same thing. They're different dialects, but they're the same thing. We'll get to that in phase five. So your publisher is supposed to collect. Publishers and writers. So 
This is what BMI does. They break it down into 200%. They want to know the publisher's name. They want to know what affiliation a publisher is with. This is why you are not a publisher because you do not have a publishing license. You did not pay for a publishing license. No one gets a free publishing license. You understand? BMI is 150. ASCAP is $100 reoccurring every year. CSAC, you have to pay, I think. Like, I'm not sure what CSAC is, so I'm not even going to try to quote it. But you have to be elected into CSAC. But these are all the different PROs. Like, I just seen, uh, you can see some familiar names in here if you look. I think there's uh, like car companies in here too. Here's Fox, Fox News, or as you know as Fox News. Uh, I think, not GNC, I think Mercedes is in here. Mercedes has a publishing company. Mercedes does music too, but y'all don't know that because they do classical music. When you walk into a Mercedes, you know how you be trying to stunt and you're trying to act all like you got it like that. You walk to a Mercedes Benz dealership and then you don't even be the music you play in your car because they think internally. They think, hey, we could create our own classical music, create our own soundtrack, and play it in our own dealerships, and then capitalize on the royalties. You ain't never heard a Mercedes dealership song on the radio, have you? Or on Spotify. Because you won't. <laughs> But yeah, okay, the IP number, that's your that's your artist number. So like that's what I was telling you about the uh you can't steal my number, you know, the, the, that comes with my name. That's going to be the IP number. The unique identification number assigned to a publisher's name if unknown, leave blank. Like you saw in Misha P, like we did in the works catalog. She has one, she just didn't give it to me in time. And I registered my shit already. But then you put your ownership in, and then you put the collections. How much is collected? Right here. It refers to the percentage of royalties that is either collected by an original publisher directly or by an administrator or U.S. sub-publisher on behalf of an original publisher. Is this making sense to you? I hope so. We'll talk about it in phase five, what this actually means. So yeah, save continue, save add another publisher, another original publisher, next, blah, 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 blah. It's all, it's all pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go through all of it. It won't let me go forward without doing all of this. I'm not. I'm actually not, I actually want to go back because I don't want to start a new catalog without having a chance to actually do. See what I mean? I cannot delete it. Once you start one, you have to finish, pretty much. You get what I'm saying? So what I'll have to do later is just edit this. I'll have to use this as a template for an official song release that I do and just change all the information in here. But you guys can see how serious this is because this is BMI's money. This is their bread and butter. Your music, they don't give a fuck what type of music you make. They just want the content. And what they need is an ISRC code and a UPC code so that they could pay you. That's what this is. This is how you register that. Let me just go ahead and go through it. I'm gonna just uh, show you what I mean because I just dropped some jewels on you. So I'm gonna just put myself, I'm gonna put myself, one for myself. I have different aliases. I have different names. These are other artists that I work with. But I go by plenty of different names. Or I used to. 
I'm the composer and author. Composer meaning I sang on the song. Author means I wrote the song. My shares, percentage of works, <clears throat> percentage or the work with each, this writer composer is to be created, credited, excuse me, I can't read right now, my eyes are blurred, I need to smoke. Percentage of the work with which this writer composer is to be credited. Total writer shares cannot exceed 200. What does that mean, Flows? That means the producer, the publisher, the writer, and the artist. The artist and the writer don't have to be the same person, but if they are, 100%. If the artist can claim publishing, which is rare, 75%. I mean, 150%. Excuse me. I'm thinking 100. It's 200. So, writer, singer, or rapper, or whatever you want to call yourself, artist, 50-50 equals 100. Right? So, put it like this. Okay. Writer, composer, producer, publisher. Okay? This is how BMI looks to pay you. Okay? Four squares, four boxes, 50% each. So if I wrote the song, I made the beat, and I performed the song, that's 150. But let's say I give publishing to Misha P. She puts out the music. So she gets that 50, okay? But let's say I do all of this myself like I do. I get all 200. But Flows, why are you telling us, you telling us not to do our own publishing, but you do all your own publishing? Well, duh, I'm not focused on the music career like you are. I'm focused on developing artists like I have been since 2008. To be an A&R, you gotta have some kind of backing. And what I was saying earlier is record labels are dying and A&Rs are out of jobs because record labels only have to find an idiot, trip your head, <laughs> and give him a few million dollars and tell him to go figure it out on his own. And you're not smart enough to outthink me and you know pay off your debts before they become debts. They don't think like that. But record labels do because they know how dumbed down the music is. They know how miseducated the youth is because of the music, because they know how poorly adults are parenting nowadays, because record labels influence that. But yeah, that's how you make your 200%. So I would go 200, boom, I would go next. Then if I wanted to add any more writers, Let's say Misha P is on there, so I would go ahead and add that. I'm not going to do that right now because, like I said, I cannot change these things once they're in there. I can rearrange and edit them. Oh, I can delete it now. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. That's only, that's not, that's only on the inside. There's only publishers and writers. I'm talking about works info. I can't delete that right now. No, I can't. Uh, but... Anything else past this, yes. But we're going to keep going. We're not going to submit it. We're just going to pretend with it. I forget. I got to add myself again. Y'all just give me a minute. I'm going to go by iFlows. This writer does not have a proof. So, yeah, we'll put this.
This is a perfect example. Like I said, I did everything. Composer, author, that's me. I'm I flows. Or well, y'all, y'all know me by my real name by now. What the fuck ever? Who cares? I've got. And the reason why I have multiple ones is it's it's, it's for different reasons. Um, many different reasons, but you can have multiple names. So say if you change your name in the next six months, two days, twelve hours, twenty seconds. You can register that name too. BMI is free. You can have as many names as you want. Just how the hell are you gonna get paid when you got all these different names? Consistency. Not consistency and oh I gotta keep putting out music. Consistency and legitimacy. So boom, we'll go ahead, just move forward. What do you want from me now? Original publisher book shares must not exceed ownership. Okay. So because I did that, remember it can only it cannot exceed 200. So this is what I'm showing you. I did that. I made myself the writer in the writer section. I made myself the writer and the publisher. And then in the publisher, I made myself my company, the publisher. So that is 300 points. That's not going to work. So therefore, they won't let me move ahead because you can only collect 200%. So therefore, there's my whole 200%. 100 to my publishing company. 100 to me as an artist but it all comes back to me original public collection I see don't it. what the fuck I didn't say 200 oh yeah the collection duh stupid stupid y'all y'all go ahead point at the screen be like stupid <laughs> that's what you get stupid <laughs> Are there any artists? Yes. Are there any recordings? Yes. Was this work created for t film, TV, theater, or music library? Mm -mm. Now, this is good for all of you out there that are into licensing. We will cover this in phase five. So, if you fuck with people like myself, a filmmaker like myself, iFlows ENT, you fucking with the partner, the homie, Mo McCoy. You select this. Um, TuneCore has an option where you could pay for publishing and shit like that. They don't, there's no guarantee that you'll get your stuff in front of a music supervisor. A music supervisor is who listens to your content and places it in film, television, radio, and other music libraries such as Spotify playlists, such, such, such. To get next to these music music supervisors, you one, have to work in the business, two, have to be a part of the business at a higher level, such as us filmmakers versus the artists. It's more artists than there are professionals. Arts, uh, the arts is a profession because the arts is everything, but it's so watered down, it's not really professional unless you carry professionalism like your legitimacy as an artist hint hint so yeah in case you fuck it with me mo mccoy or somebody else that actually makes films television and stuff like that real music stations you want to click yes if not you click no simple click next and then you come to the summary page it'll ask you the artist the name of the artist so i'm i flows and my name and then you click me. Well, I don't need to add, well, I do need to add an artist. Yeah, I'm my folks. This is a single, so here, the recording, is it an album, EP, or single? Album, I've been thinking about this since I said it, because I know somebody out there is trying to be an asshole and, <laughs> and be typical as fuck, like you really got nothing else better to do. 31 minutes or longer is an album or an LP. 30 minutes or less. So if it's 30 minutes and one second long, it's not an EP. This is for you skeptics out there that, that just like to nitpick. I got an uncle like that and I can hear him right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do this impersonation because I gotta make y'all laugh. So, he a fat dude. So let me uh, 
<laughs> so let me play my uncle real quick. So, you mean to tell me you a rapper now? You don't even know how long your album is. So you say it's 30 minutes long or 30 minutes less. It's both an album and an EP? No. So what if it's 30 minutes and one second? Is it an EP? No. But you dumb. You dumb. <laughs> that's how my uncle would respond. He actually used to do shit like that to me when I was a kid. And that's what drove me to be so... Uh, driven in seeking the proper knowledge because my uncle is very stern on knowledge and he's just like don't ever talk about shit you don't know period because you will get corrected by people who do and you will feel offended you would be bothered you'd be ready to fight you'd be ready to act like a goddamn nigga over some shit you don't know and we all know people have tried to mold the word nigga into the word ignorant but the difference between ignorance and stupidity is this. A person that's ignorant knows the truth and ignores it. That's what makes them ignorant or an idiot. Somebody who's stupid lacks any truth and is innocent by actions. Look this stuff up. <clears throat> so yeah, my uncle was always on me, don't be an idiot. So I'm asking, I'm asking you, I'm not playing my uncle, I'm asking you, don't be an idiot. So yeah, 30 minutes, one second longer is an EP. A single is just one song. Simple, right? This stuff is simple. I ain't trying to be here all day. But we'll do this as single, recording title, Queen Chasers. Release date, we ain't got one. We'll just say tomorrow. Just No, we're not, because there is no release date for it. Was the recording released by a record label? I'm an independent entertainment source, so I can say yes. And then I can say my label and the single. Why is the catalog called Dream Chasers? Because the single is called Dream Chasers. So therefore, the single is called Dream Chaser. The album is called Dream Chaser. Like we talked about. Then you just click next. Intended purpose, film, television, theory, library, commercial jingle. You should only select the library unless you have been contacted or you have a contract like somebody like me or Momo Corey reach out to you, then you select film or television or theater. Like Tyler Perry might want you in his next stage, want your music in his next stage play. Uh, let's say the bounty commercial wants to do wants you to do a jingle for the little bear to be to hug a towel. <laughs> Outside of that, Spotify, iTunes, music, uh, all everything else, just select library. Okay, just simplify it. Select library because all these other things are going to come with attachments that you have to fill in. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Name of the music library company, that's going to be the label. CD identifier, the CD identifier, the identifier associated with the CD. Mandatory, if intended purpose is library. And the cut number, the track number for this work on the CD, mandatory intended purpose is library. So I get it, I know what they're trying to say. Liquor Store, Liquor Store should be a library song because it's a single and it's on an EP. Get it, it's in my library. So name of library would be I Rap EP. CD identifier, I Rap EP. Identifier associated with the CD, mandatory, right, right, right. So I would put I Rap EP and the cut number I think it's track number three, so I just put track number three in there. And then is this work retitled? Is this a retitled work? 
No, because liquor store has always been called liquor store, and it's always going to be called liquor store. And we just leave it at that. And then we click next. So, game library. And boom. That's that. And then you move on to summary. You do not need to provide any type of sound recording to register your work with BMI. You get that? We're not uploading anything. We're only putting in documentation. We're only registering our work. Do you get this? Do you get what I'm doing here? This is how you register your music with BMI. CSOC, ASCAP, SOCON, I don't use those. I use BMI. I hope you do too. Now, BMI, out of all of that, BMI is solely for... Shit. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go all the way back. Actually, I'm going to go home and run services. So, yeah, I'm just going to cancel that. So, once your songs is registered, next thing you want to do is register your BMI Lives. Wherever you perform at, you want to register your show. Wherever you do shows at, yeah, you guys are looking. I'm in Houston, Vince Sports Lounge, Mr. A's. Uh, Post Lounge, Mr. A's, BFE Rock Club. Like I, I, I do do shows. Like I do do this. I go around and I tell people. I try to put people in a position of power. Like you can get paid. Like I get paid, and you see, I get paid under both names. You can even make a playlist, like a quick playlist. You can have a set list of songs that you perform. See, this is my go-to list, and this is my 2019 list. See, I only have four songs at first that I performed. Then I started performing more songs. And then bands, you you can somebody else can manage you or you can manage your own BMI. You know, shit like that. It's going slow. Let me refresh the page. Bands. Stupid. Payment schedules. Bands, see? You see who I am? The creator is me, the name is iFlows, the status is active. Payment schedules. This is when you get paid royalties. This is when you get paid, okay? This year, there's four quarters in a year, so every three months is a quarter. So we're in 2020. April 1st just came, I collected that already. Yeah, April, yeah, July, we're coming up in July. So this is the next performances between, okay, so the way this works, if you performed any time from October to March 31st, you won't be paid until January. You don't get paid, okay, think of it like this. When you work a bi-weekly job, you gotta put, you gotta work three weeks before you see your paycheck, right? You got to put one week in the hole, right? So think of that bi-weekly schedule as a three-month. You know how you make, uh, when you work bi-weekly, you make two paychecks a month? Think about it like that. So you're making four paychecks a year. You have to put in a period, a three-month period, and wait three months to get that first three month period because that's your bi-weekly pay. So what I mean is if you guys are doing this and you're just starting right now, you're gonna be waiting six months before you see your first payment, but it's not that bad. You just spent six months in the house because of this coronavirus doing nothing. This is going to get you paid. I am not kidding. I am not fucking kidding. Look, I'm gonna take out that. But yeah, these are your payment schedules for just get in here, get, start you a BMI, and start looking at this stuff. But I'm going to show you guys, like, you guys really get paid. I'm going to show you, like, I get paid for shows. So BMI, CSAC, ASCAP, and SOCON, 
they pay you for performance rights. You understand what I'm saying? This ain't all about the radio and shit like that. We getting ready to get into that. Let me just show you my royalty statements. I get paid. So you see, first, second, curtain. whenever I do work, you know, I've been doing shows actively since 2007. I've been utilizing this since 2017. I know you're like, Bose, but you've been doing this. You've been doing this since 2008, 2010. You know what? I didn't get paid till 2017. How about that? Because I procrastinated like you. I kept dragging my feet. I waited too long. And now it's like you guys are getting ready to pass me because I need, I cannot be if you do not succeed, my nigga. Do you feel me? Oh, stress this enough. I love this shit. Whew. Let me just show you real quick. Show you what I was. I ain't make much on the last one, but I'm going to just show you. This is what your PROs look like. So I performed, I didn't perform much. I didn't perform much, but this is what I made so far in the fourth quarter. I played my songs, and you see, the more song, the more you perform your song, the percentage rate goes up. The better percentage you have, the better the rate goes up, too. See what I'm saying? This is what you want. So I made this out of nothing. I made this out of zero dollars. Zero mother loving dollars in this damn thing. Yeah, y'all see me frozen on the screen trying to fix it. I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to stop this one. I'm still here. Just going to start a new video. Boom. Back, y'all. So I made money out of no money. I made some money out of no money. Let me show you how good it gets. Y'all y'all just ooh. let me just show you. This was my first payment. You know, this was the last one. This is the one I just showed y'all. So let me grab this one. Which one am I grabbing? So it's another one, forty-three dollars. Uh, let me find a nice one. I know which one you want to see. Yeah, I'm always working on something. So let me see. When did I get paid like that? Let me see. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, I performed once in twenty eighteen. I performed one time in twenty eighteen. I think this was my best payout. No, it wasn't. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see your time, man. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, let me see your time, man. So yeah, I mean, the more shows you do, the better it gets. Okay, that one was a shit. I know you're like, yeah, 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 this nigga broke. Actually, I'm not. I just do free artist development. It'll get out of my like life, my personal life. Like, let me get back to where I was. I did that 2018 2019 I gotta find this stuff should have been more prepared let me just download all of them I had one where I had like a hundred dollars like two hundred dollars But you can see over a period of time, this shit adds up. They're right. Like, I don't do too much, but if I did more, then yeah, I probably could be winning a lot better. Have more to show you. Let me just, uh, da, 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 da. I know what to do. I know what to do. Y'all just chill. I'm going to, I'm going to bring you in. I'm going to just completely bring you guys in. So we'll do it like this. Open folder. I'm going to delete all of these because all of these are trash. I'm just going to do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to open all six. One, two, three, four, 
there. It says. So, one, two, three, four. So, I made like ten dollars first time. Second time was like eleven. Third time was like five. Fourth time was ninety dollars. Like I told you guys, like you can make some money off doing shows. Like you can really make money off doing shows. Like if I put more time in, if I put more time and effort in, I could quit my day job. You see what I'm saying? I don't have a day job. My day job is filming. But if I had like really just like stormed the stages like I should have, I could really be doing some things. You know what I mean? And this was at the end of 2017. You see, U.S. performance period, fourth quarter, 2017. So you could really be doing some shit. You could really put the time in and do some shit. I mean, you guys are already doing shows and doing that. That's what this is about. This is about getting you paid, getting you straight, getting you, getting you right, man. Because so many of y'all are doing so much and missing out on so much. So, get you, get you whatever, a BMI, CSAC, ASCAP. Register your work and fucking start performing, okay? Good. Now, since we got that out the way, these are performance rights. These are live performances. But we're not done yet. I know you like flows. You just spent about an hour talking all of that, this, that, and the other. Now we're going to cover internet. This is a lot shorter and a lot easier. It's very simple. This is real. So when it comes to digital radio, when it comes to places like GMT down in Houston, GMT radio, when it comes to those rate those internet radio stations that partner with broadcast radios or like Michael Bazin or whatever, um, like the Breakfast Club, that's considered internet radio also serious fm and stuff like that that's internet any 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 platform that's not fm is considered internet radio and this is how you make that money this is why you're not seeing no money when you when all of these youtubers and facebookers you know buy a cheap little program and tell you cash app them 10 15 dollars get your music played because they they can do this no but what you can do is register your work. So regardless, if it's played, it's covered. This ain't about nothing else but covering your ass. You you don't get how, how, how much people come to me so pissed off about, man, it's fucked up. This and like this and this like that. I should be getting this then. I should be doing that. I should. You should. You should. But you're not because you won't listen. You don't do it right. And that's the reason you're in the position you're in. And make that the reason that you follow these videos. Please. Because you don't want to be missing out anymore. Like the conversations we have about that shit be so, so, ugh. But. I'm trying to wrap this up, you guys. Like, I really, I know I've been going on for a while. I still got so much to cover in this. This is why I had to take my time in doing this with you guys. Because this is, this is the business of music. This is not the music business. I just need you to succeed, okay? I need you to shout me out when you, I need you to be like, man, man, when I die, I, I should have a free funeral off of this. You feel me? I should be regardless of what my character is in my past life this is what the fuck I'm here for this is what I'm here for I cannot be if you do not succeed you should learn that quote that and live by it because I am you don't have to but I will so we need to get a sound exchange I'm not gonna go through the whole process of this it's basically the same thing when you have a sound exchange, you need two things. Two things are very important, your barcodes and ISRC codes. So real quick, we're just gonna look up by the definition what a barcode is. A barcode is a universal product code 
The universal product code is a barcode symbology that is widely used in the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and other countries for tracking trades, items, and stores. UPC consists of 12 numeric digits that are uniquely assigned to each trade item. So anything you purchase in the world is going to have a barcode. They also come digital, like your music. An ISRC code is an international standard recording code. The international standard recording code is an international standard code for uniquely identifying sound recordings and music video recordings. Are you grasping this? Please, if you got this, grab your hair and pull it out. Just yeah, just one time for me. Just, just I just need you. Just, just, just that energy, that excitement you got. Look around, make sure nobody around, and just be like, yes, 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 because you just got the fucking. You just got the jewels, bro. All right. Now that we got that out the way, it's very important to have a UPC and an ISRC code. Here's why. You are going to need UPC and ISRC codes for these two sites right here, Song Trust and Sound Exchange. Song Trust. Songtrust.com. Songtrust.com. Sound Exchange. Sound Exchange is free to get registered. Now they won't pay you until your account hits like 250 because they're free. So they won't dish out any funds until your internet streams hit some numbers. Understand. Soul Trust. It's a little different. You pay a hundred dollar one time fee. This is only for registration. You can have both. Now, you can have a song trust and sound exchange, and that's what you want. You want the free stuff and the paid stuff. You feel me? Cause why would you miss out anything? Why would you miss out on anything that's yours? Or you just gonna let somebody take it from you? Now the thing about the uh, the, the thing about the PROs, the Performance Rights Organization, BMI, CSAC, ASCAP, and SOCAN, you cannot have multiple accounts. You can be a BMI artist and a and a ASCAP publisher, like yeah, but you can't be a BMI artist and a and an ASCAP artist. You can't be a CSAC artist and an ASCAP art or you can't be on the same level at any of those three companies. You feel me? And no, you can't be under SOCON in America unless you're Canadian. Um, you can't be a BMI artist and a SOCON artist at the same time. I've tried, you can have multiple PROs, but it has to be a foreign international PRO. So let's say if I go to Africa, I can I could join a PRO over there as well. So I could double my money. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm getting paid from another source. Another foreign source, not an American source at that. But this is your internet streams, everything you're doing, Spotify, iTunes, Pandora, Google Play, whatever, all of that. Oh, we'll host your music and we can get you in front of a whole bunch of people, da 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 but you can't get yourself out your own house to get your own career going. This ain't a diss to nobody. This is to push you. This is to get you off your ass and get you out that door and get you paid. You feel me? Okay, now we got that out the way. You're like, all right, folks. This is good information. So what's up with distribution? But before we get to distribution, I need you to understand something. I need you to understand UPCs and ISRC codes are more accessible than you think they are. So you're going to need ISRC codes and UPCs for sound exchange and song trust. Here's where you get it from. You can buy barcodes and ISRC codes, okay? Barcodes from speedybarcodes.com and right now everything's still on sale from I, this is where I buy my barcodes from and everything is still on sale with the Father's Day special so get it while you can check out how cheap these prices are it is ridiculously crazy so if you depending on your budget you can buy everything you need right here if you're just getting started five dollars get you in the game you got ten dollars you got five options you feel me now, 
ISRC codes. Here, ISRC codes are $2 per track and $30 to register. So based on how many ISRC codes you want to buy at a time, right here is how you buy them. So I went ahead and said, let's say I got my EP, I rap EP, it's five songs. I had already pre-started this, but let's go back to zero. So boom, calculation. It's supposed to say zero, but at $2, two times five is 10 plus $30, we'll do that. So just to show you that it works, we'll put in six. See how my price goes up? Now let's say my track is, I got 12 tracks. See what I'm saying? Let's say I have one song, but I have one video to go with it. You see how I changed that? I have one song and one video. So I need two ISRC codes. That's only $34. So if you're smart about it, $2, I could buy ISRC codes. So. And I only got to pay $30, $230. I got to have 100 ISRC codes. And see, you can buy ISRC codes separately from another website. But all you got to do is go right here to ISRC.com. Because if you go anywhere else, you are responsible. Right here, right here, right here, right here. This is most important. This is most important because this is very true. This is right under the calculations. The registration fee for album, single, or DVD includes issuance of the I, of your ISRC code, the collection of your track information, and database registration of your tracks as required by the Recording Industry Association of America and IFPI. Like I told you, there is people who focus on this and do nothing but this while you think you got to figure it out because you got music and you want people just to listen to you. There's people that spend their life focusing on other things other than just the music. It's the business of music, not the music business. So, <clears throat> are there other ways of getting ISRC codes? Yes, there's two, two other ways. You could get them directly from the ISRC authority, but they charge $95 and you will have to handle the assignment of registration on your own. Now, some agents, labels, and other third parties offer ISRC services as part of a bundle of services that you hire them for. Sometimes they advertise this as free ISRC codes. So this is for all you predominantly strong, I'm distro kid, I'm CD baby, I'm tune core, I'm a muse, I'm, I'm, I get all my stuff free, ISRCs and UPCs. You're being lied to. It's a gimmick. Just like the business you're in, which is music, you have to sell a gimmick. You have to sell me on an idea. So you play a guppy for a guppy. Oh, you're an artist? You want people to listen to you? Fine. Let me hit you with a gimmick. You got a gimmick? I got a gimmick. I'll give you free UPCs and IPC codes just to give me the rights to your music. Oh, and then you can go tell everybody you the big boss. You you do your own publishing. It don't matter. You tell everybody you do it for free. You're reading it straight from the source. Now, when you do this here, they register you're registered my business is outside the united states so can i still purchase isrc codes from you yes absolutely we authorize we're authorized by the governing body of isrc's to issue international standard recording codes to clients in any country now you can go here and you can finish reading the rest of this and all of this this will tell you about music videos or whatnot how do i get ircc codes for my music video you can obtain your isrc codes from the u.s from us today from the U from us today from us today using the credit card or paypal account here is the process one go to your order or call place your order complete the tracking registration form what if I don't have all the information? Like everything you need is right here. 
Speedy Barcodes, and ISRCCodes.com. This has been Free Artist Development Phase 4. I'll see you in Phase 5 in the end of the season. Peace.